Welcome to the kitchen. I'm Chef Victoria Love, and today we're going to make a carrot acorn squash soup. So this wonderful fall vegetable. Now this one is completely orange, but normally it's a green and orange combination. This one's completely orange. So we're going to roast this first, and then we're going to make our soup with lots of carrots, celery, onion, and one Yukon gold potato to add a bit of creaminess. I didn't want to add cream to it because you don't want that extra fat in it. So we're going to use that Yukon gold potato to create a creamy, smooth texture, and then chicken broth, some kosher salt, ground pepper, and a little bit of thyme. So let me get everything mise en place and I'll show you how to make it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can bring you more recipes. Thank you. So we're gonna prepare our acorn squash and we wanna cut this into nice wedges that we're gonna put onto a baking sheet and put it into a 350 degree oven until it's nice and tender. And then we can scoop out the flesh to add it into our soup. All of these seeds inside the acorn squash, we're gonna scoop them out. And you could actually roast them just like pumpkin seeds. So if you want, you could save them, roast them in the oven, toss them with a little olive oil and kosher salt, roast them, and then they could be a garnish on top of your soup. So that's something you could do. And then we're gonna cut this into wedges along the lines that are actually already there. So we wanna get, you know, maybe three pieces per half. Set them up, put this in the oven, and roast it. I have our saucepan over medium high heat, and to this we're gonna add one to two tablespoons of olive oil, and then we're gonna saute our onions until they are light golden on the edges. And then take a minute or two, so let's just break up the onion and saute. While our onions are sauteing, I just took the acorn squash out of the oven and we're gonna test to make sure it's done. So what you do is you take a fork and if it can go into the flesh nice and easily, you know it's done. So now I can scrape out the flesh and have it prepared for the soup. We're getting a nice little bit of golden brown color on the edges of our onions. So now we're gonna add in all of our carrots. I'm gonna saute those as well until they're tender, about five minutes. Our carrots are nice and tender, so now we can add in our celery. Once we've scraped off all the pulp from our acorn squash, we're gonna add our potato, which I cut into small cubes, our squash, and four cups of chicken broth into our stock pot. Last thing to go into our pot is one teaspoon of beautiful thyme. If you have fresh thyme, even better. A couple of sprigs of fresh thyme would be fantastic. This has been simmering for over an hour and now I've got my immersion blender and I'm gonna puree the whole thing. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can use a regular blender, but let it cool off a bit before you do it and do it in small batches. So as soon as you're done pureeing it till it's nice and smooth and no really large chunks left of the carrots or the squash, you wanna give it a taste before you season it to see if it needs more salt or pepper. So this tastes perfect. I'm gonna serve it up and then garnish it with some chopped scallops. Okay. Beautiful soup, perfect on a winter afternoon for some lunch. Hearty carrot acorn squash soup with thyme. It smells absolutely wonderful. I have some chopped scallions and I'm just gonna use that as the garnish. A little bright greenness on our soup makes it taste even better. So Here's our beautiful carrot acorn squash soup. I hope this inspires you to make it at home. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Please check out all of our videos. For more recipe demonstrations, please click like and subscribe to Chef Victoria Loves YouTube channel and have fun in the kitchen. Thank you.